I think we're going to uh, get it around, get the ball moving around. I think he's got his formation sorted, so strong team. But again, Fulham's a, one of the best teams I've seen so far, so hopefully it'll be the same as it was at Villa Park. <laughs> doing there, uh, having some cold and <laughs> not exactly <laughs> enjoying my time, but this season is amazing. They, they play really well, very aggressive, so I like that. And uh, they play to win, and not to win with 1-0, but really, well, as much as they can, so. Well, I think we, we played well, but I think we just sort of dropped off a bit and they had a few minutes of pressure on us. I think we played really well, it's just we need to finish more chances and get the ball out wide and then take more shots. Cool. I don't know 
if we can rely on all the other results to that I'm not sure that all the other results will go our way so I'm not really too sure and how about you guys are you confident or I'm, I'm yeah. confident but I'm, I'm thinking I'm he's quite gonna confident, be there. I don't know there'll be, one, there'll be one team that won't get in like yeah. Probably the second best team I've seen in the last 61 years. Second or third, yeah. After, wow. the, yeah. after Tegan's team and after the Johnny Haynes era, yeah. In general, we done. The first half, when we scored the first goal, we came down a little bit, you know. But second half, we haven't been like more fighter, yeah. But at the end of the, the game, we scored two, so we've been a little bit enthusiastic. So, um, yeah. Happy days. Happy oh, days. yes. Yeah. Come on, Fulham. Come on, Whites. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. See you in Premier League. Next year. We yeah, are coming next back. season. We are coming back. Fulham coming back next season. I think Fulham played quite well. Um, there, some, there were some times where they were playing quite slowly, but when they got up, picked up the pace, then they were very skillful with the ball, and it was a great game to watch. The game went fantastic because we got the result 3 1. You know, we had a little bit of luck in the first half, then going down to 10. We had a bit of a wobble then because we thought the game was over, let them back in, but done really well. So yeah, happy as Larry. Have we got Larry here? <laughs> no, we could have though. We're, uh, we're in a position now where it, as my pundit here said, <laughs> the, games, the games are in our own hands really. But as we've just shown today, it's not the Sheffield Wednesday is still one, and uh, but Leeds have, uh, have gone down, so uh, we are now in the playoffs. So we got a little bit more to celebrate. Now we've got to stay there, and now I think it will get even more difficult. I'm confident now. Confident, yeah. Definitely, definitely. There's, there's confidence flying from front to back now. I think probably the Derby defeat has really been the kick up in the backside that we needed. We've learned from that, put better than the goal, and it's just everyone looks like they understand what their role is from front to back. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, we scored six goals in two games, and uh, I also went to the Norwich game away, which was a fantastic performance. So, you know, if you put the two games over a short period of time, that's a really fantastic performance by the whole squad. So I'm, I'm, I'm optimistic. You know, we've had three years really of awful football, no shape to it, no determination what we're actually trying to do. You know, got a guy here who's got a very distinct football style, he wants to play, and he's got it through to the players, and that's the big thing. You, you know, they've got to buy into what he wants to do. But he's instilled the self-belief in them, that's yeah. the thing. He's encouraged them to want the ball, even when they're under pressure, because there'll be someone looking for the, for the second ball. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's the key thing, that every player is comfortable to have the ball mm -hmm. when they've got a player the on them. Yeah. Because they know that there's a pass and waiting to be made after you, so. And all the time you're playing football, you've got a chance, a real chance, especially in this division. And I fancy us away, and I fancy us on big pitches. And I found if we get in the playoffs, I think we can get there because I think the bigger the pitch, the more chance we've got. But the gaps will be bigger, the way we play will be very difficult for the opposition. It's, you know, we're not going to go up if we're lumping. Yeah. You know, we don't we don't play that style. All credit to it. We've got the we've got a situation here, haven't we? Where you said it's difficult to see a weakness. I think the weakness has been there for us all season. We can't close games up. We still leave ourselves vulnerable, um, and that's where I see the weakness. I mean, today we went one all. We could have. The only difference is last season we would have probably capitulated. But uh, it's very difficult. You know, that's the one thing we haven't got. And there's a there's a keenness to get on and get another, forgetting that we really ought to hold on to what we've got for a bit. I think I think there's more after the Norwich game. You know, playing with ten men for 45 minutes. I think the resolution is greater now, mm. I think. I think yeah. actually if we go into this run-in, I think they're up for it. I think the resolution defensively is greater. And um, I've always felt this squad, there was a good vibe. I, I have no idea how they get on or anything, because we don't know, we only guess. 
but I just get a feeling there's always been a good vibe about this squad and as they've been successful it's got better and it's getting better all the time not just the people who are are in the 11 but you get this with the, the just some of the body language the people coming on because we'll need fresh legs we'll need extra people we yeah, won't yeah. do it with 11. and to achieve that in quite effectively as you can have his first full season when he yeah. put together a whole new set of players 14 players yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that really yeah. shouldn't be underestimated yeah. yeah people will always find faults in yeah. something but actually to get that squad of players gelling like that where players come on and they slot straight into the, to the team yeah. they know what they're like. he's dealing yeah he's de he seems to be dealing with the people who aren't playing as well quite well i noticed this in rotherham you know there were people everybody who was you know that uh, there were other people who are not on the bench today you know but everybody seemed to be you know energized positive I'm just looking at little things coming off the coach and stuff. I don't know for certain, mm -hmm. but I didn't feel that it was a sort of droopiness about it. I feel it's a real positive vibe in the whole squad. <laughs> He's pinned the whole lane again. Guys, can you just step to one side, please? Brian, where are you? He's going down. Levin, come down. Are you going to bring that down? Are you going to bring that You retweeted my photo. Yeah? You retweeted my video. Yeah? Yeah, because right. the one that was over the line, that was my video. Hey, it was yours. Yeah, it's my video. Thank you. <laughs> so how, how was the, how's the season been for you, personally? I think it's getting better and better, and uh, I can feel it uh, when, I, when I'm on the field. And, uh, but the most important for us is to grab our, our ticket for the top six, and uh, if you have this, you will be happy. And uh, after it's up to you to, to fight till the promotion to the, the Premier League. And w what do you think about um, this team spirit? Is this one of the best team spirits you've had at a football club? Or? Yeah. yeah, of course, because everybody wants to fight for each other and uh, we're always together like, uh, like friends, brothers, and uh, that's the most important in the group. Because when, the, when when you came on the second half, you made a lot you made a lot of difference to the team. You put a lot of energy in. I just to try, uh, I just tried to, to to bring what I what I could bring, and that's it. Okay, so you've moved from uh, was it France? You've moved from France or France uh, after Belgium yeah. and now England. So tell me, how's it? What's it like living in London and playing for this Fulham Football Club? Uh, for, for me, uh, uh, it's not that. Uh, you know, Fulham is uh, in uh, an historic club and uh, it's famous in uh, all over the world. So it was just normal to, to, have this, uh, to have this move for me because I had other opportunities. But for me, it was like natural to, to choose Fulham because I, lo I love the story, I love the city. And uh, I used to follow this team when uh, Luisa is a French player used to play for this team and uh, Van der Sar was playing for this team so for me it's a great club and uh, in, in English I can uh, improve so it was normal to, to come here. And who, do you think we can get into the playoffs in the Premier League? You 100% believe it? I believe, I trust uh, in, my, in my teammate and I believe in uh, our chances. Now it's just uh, time to to do all the, 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 the big performances to, to reach the, the top six and then we'll see by uh, how the performance is. I just want to say thank you very much for what you're doing and just uh, you're playing really well. At the beginning, I think you took time to acclimatize to the team. Yeah, it's normal. But, but you're, you're playing really, really well and I just want to say continue the good work. You're, just, you're good at your job and thank you very much for what you're doing. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Have a good evening. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.